What's going on everyone, it's Low Heat and today I'm discussing my top 3 feature requests for the machine software. Definitely let me know what you think in the comments down below and also share your feature requests for the machine software. First of all, I have to say that I understand that companies don't want to introduce all the features straight away because they may often break the workflow that existing users have and also dedicating the working hours of the developers to this may take away from their time that they can dedicate to something that's more important or something that the company sees as important for the development of the product. So I'm fully aware that we cannot get all the features straight away and I'm sure that the smart people at Native Instruments know better than us what feature should be introduced to when and basically make sure that the product is running smoothly for all users because you know it's one single product and every user has their own priorities and their own way of working so it cannot be perfect for everybody so i'm fully aware with that and as an ableton live user i've seen this with ableton as well they've been very slow to introduce new features very wary of breaking the workflow for people who are used to using their software and who rely on it for their day-to-day -day work. So I'm pretty sure that the smart people in these companies know what to do and I trust them fully. So having said that, let me quickly explain what these features are all about. Since I mentioned Ableton, actually I got the idea from being an Ableton user. All these features are implemented in Ableton Live and are extremely useful and extremely helpful for my workflow. Okay, feature number one would be analog modeled filters and generally better filters more filter options and the option to have four pole filters or 24 db per octave filters these are steeper filters and they filter the sound more drastically so now we have just three basic filters and an eq in the sampler and if you love the filter effect we again have low pass band pass and high pass and a notch filter and these are the basics they do the job they're not bad in any way but comparing them to what ableton offers and they've had this for ages and these are the analog modeled filters created by Cytomic so when you open Simpler in Ableton you have the option of choosing the slope of the filter 24 dB per octave or 12 dB per octave and analog models which are modeled after legendary analog synthesizers and the super important drive control I definitely want to have this in the machine software because this really helps with bass lines and it basically helps you saturate the sound after you filter it. So analog model filters with drive is my top feature request for machine. And I got the idea for this because recently Ableton released a new beta version of Ableton Live 11 and they have actually improved the sound of their analog model filters. And I'm sure that native instruments are capable of doing this because if we have a look at contact, and with their filter options they've got a long list of filters and a lot of them seem to be modeled after some analog filter so native instruments they have the filter algorithms and if possible i would highly appreciate it if these were implemented it will definitely improve the sound of the built-in sampler and filter effect and, and i don't know how easy it would be to implement this feature but the next one is definitely going to be a bit harder probably and this would be having proper audio tracks again something that i'm used to from my workflow in ableton recording midi and recording audio is basically the exact same process you record enable a track and you record so your muscle memory works for midi and for audio and it also works on the push too so this is a really great basic DAW feature that I would like to be implemented in machine. At the moment, if you want to record audio in it, you need to go to the sampling section. And I've got a video explaining how to record instruments as audio in machine. But essentially, it doesn't really work with the record button that we use for recording MIDI. I just want to be able to press shift to record and record audio from my synths or from a microphone or from whatever straight into a pad without going 
into the sampling section. This may not be that easy to implement without breaking the workflow for some people who are used to working the way it is now. In this regard, I really like what they did with the clips update, because they did it in a way that if you don't want to use clips, they don't get in the way in any way and you can continue using machine the way it was working before the clips were introduced. So if they can do that with the audio, that would be amazing, but I'm not really sure it's going to be so easy. And the third feature, something that I didn't really know that I needed before again Ableton introduced it in Ableton Live 10, the retrospective recording, which in Ableton is called the capture feature. Basically, this means that Ableton listens and records in the background what you're playing on a keyboard or with the pads. Basically, it records the MIDI information even if you're not recording it. So even if you get a really cool take and you didn't press record, you can press a button and Ableton will recall this recording. It actually only works with MIDI and Studio One users, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I heard that on, in Studio One they have the same feature but it actually works with audio as well so that would be amazing but even having it working just with midi on the machine that would be super super cool because i'm kind of used to using this feature to just play and then recall things that i forgot to record because sometimes these are the best takes when you're not actually thinking oh now i'm recording you kind of get lost in the flow, you make a really good take. It would be a really dope feature if we can recall that with the press of a button, maybe shift something. I don't know, it, it works on the push too very well. You just press the record button plus the new button and it actually creates a clip with what you forgot to record. And it's also a really cool feature to start projects because if you don't have anything in the project, you can just play something and it will set the tempo of your project to the tempo of the thing that you played. So maybe you have a groove in your mind, but you don't know what is the actual BPM to set the sequencer. And so basically it reads the BPM from your playing and sets the, the BPM automatically and captures your recording without you even pressing record. So these are my top three feature requests for the machine software. Comment down below with your feature requests and hope to see you in the next video.